So today is a beautiful Sunday. <laughs> a beautiful Tuesday, right? Okay, how are you doing? Hope you are doing great. Hope you are doing great, okay? Um so uh a quick one. I I felt it's running right here, so I'm packed somewhere and um I felt I should do this um this video so as to um uh, address something that just uh, uh, came up okay so um the truth is uh sometimes what affects us is uh, actually village pride uh thinking that we know too much when we actually um need to seek more knowledge uh, on how things work so um a, a certain friend of mine here made uh, a comment about storage and how uh, storage um, of uh, commodities, how you need to find a market for commodities before you you do storage on it. Now, how you need to find market, okay, before you do uh, uh, storage. Uh, and they are basing the argument on, for storage, you you first need to find out who is buying um, who is buying a goosey, for instance. Always buying granite, for instance, before you you make storage of it. Okay. Now let me just tell you how these things work. It's not just about um, becoming a Facebook farmer or just coming up to uh, uh, make your own input so that people think you 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 just know what storage is all about. Now these things are, are different. There's a difference between you want to start uh, trading granite, for instance, and you want to store granite. I don't know whether you understand what I'm saying. There's a difference that you want to start trading granite and you want to store granite. If you want to start trading granite, I will always advise you that you look for a market before you start trading granite. It makes sense for you to either trade it um, as a, a raw material that's as in its shape as granite, or you process it first. In either ways you want to do it, that is um, that's what you should choose. Whether you want to add value to the granite or not, that's now you to choose from your market, your market survey that you've done whether you are adding value or you are not adding value okay now but for if you want to if you want to go about storing granite now is a different ball game storage of granite is a different ball game from trading granite what is the difference between trading granite and uh, storing granite if you want to store granite, I don't care whether it is just granite. I don't care whether you are talking about palm oil. I don't care whether you are talking about a goosey. Okay. Uh, using the argument that how markets work in the north and how markets work in the south is separate. It's just, I laugh at this. I laugh at the way people, uh, uh, people misunderstand uh, these two things. People that buy granite, for instance, since we are using granite, People that buy granite in large quantity, they don't wait for you to finish to wait. They don't wait for you when your granite have added value. That is when you are storing granite. When your granite have added value, that is when they will come and buy from you. They don't wait for you. People that buy granite or buy palm oil or buy a goosey in large quantity, they buy it weekly or monthly depending on how they come to the market they buy it almost every week or almost every month so how will a bulk buyer a serious bulk buyer be waiting for you to store your egusi or to store your granite and then wait for you anytime you say eh, the money don't high they will not come and buy from you let's be serious here the marketing model or the business model for storage is different from trading trading is a different ball game trading is something you do every day if you want to start trading granite 
you now become a serious granite trader. That means you now start trading granite every day, every week. You should be talking about granite. You should be telling us always about how granite, what granite is being done or whatever. Let's just be calling you Mama Granite, okay? That is trading. But for storage, you don't even need to tell us anything on social media. You don't even need to tell us you store anything. There are a lot of us on this blue app. There are a lot of people you don't know that have millions of agricultural products stored. They don't need to tell you anything. The business model is simply different. So now, do you need to find a market before you store product? No. You don't need to find a market. You just need to do it right. So now, how do you, how do, you do it right? How do you do it right? Yeah. And I know it is the same thing everywhere. But let me just talk about Nasarawa, okay? There is a place that is dedicated to storing agricultural commodities. There is a place, it is the business of the people. They don't own any of the commodity. They just have the facility. Like the last time, um, I think if you store a goosey, a bag of a goosey, they don't care when you come to carry it to sell or not. Anytime you want to sell your egusi, you just give them a token. I think it's between 500 naira per bag. Either 500 naira or 1,000 naira. So they don't call you every month to ask you for charges for storing egusi there. No. They don't call you every week to ask you to pay any money. No. And if your egusi lost there, they will pay you the money. Now... Do you need a market for you to store there? You don't need a market. That person that is in that store will be calling you almost every week to tell you that, hey, people have come to buy you and they are pricing 100 naira. Let's assume you bought it for 70 naira. He will call you that, ah, somebody is pricing 100 naira. Are you selling? You say, no, I'm not selling yet. He will call you later and say, ah, somebody is pricing 110. No, are you selling? Anytime you decide that the market is right, you tell him, sell. You give an account number, they will transfer your money. If you like, you come over. It is a clean business. It is a very clean business. The reason why you don't need a market is that the people that buy this commodity in bulk, they go to those storage facilities every day to buy in bulk because that is where farmers store their products but what is killing people is village village pride village pride and you don't want to seek knowledge that is what is affecting people when you are storing palm oil you want your old village people to know you are storing palm oil and that is why you are storing the palm oil in your house when you are storing a goosey you want everybody to know that you have 10 bags of a goosey. You now carry it to go and store in your house. How will the marketers now know that you have a goosey? How will they know? Why are you storing a goosey in your own house? Why are you storing this product in your house? Are you a trader? You are not a trader. You are not trading them. You are just storing them to add value. So please stop storing this product in your house. Go and do it. Go and store this product where the market, where the market is already there. Nobody is going to force you to sell the product. Nobody is going to steal the product from you. Nobody is going to ask you to sell when you are not selling. When the market appreciates, you can sell. Do you need to have a market before you store any agricultural product? No. I just say I should say this, okay? And, and it is what it is, okay? If you don't agree with this, just go and store it in your four-bedroom flat, okay? And then later you blame Buhari. That is what you normally do. You just blame the government, you blame Buhari, you blame people. Seek knowledge before you do this, okay? I right, have a great day ahead. We'll see you later.